when you were growing up in, in, a, in a town on the coast of, east coast of China, mm -hmm. um, what was that like? Did you, did you, was it difficult to be in school at, the, uh, at a time when a minority would be singled out and looked down upon? Well, sadly, uh, when I was in school, uh, up till I was, I guess, 18, I didn't even come across with the term homosexuality mm -hmm. anywhere. Zero. Like in the magazine, newspaper, TV, anywhere. Like it simply doesn't exist. And as you probably knew, uh, up until 1997, homosexuality was still illegal in China. And it was still regarded as uh, immoral until 2001. So it was just nowhere to be found. And if you didn't, if, if, if you don't have access to that kind of uh, stuff in your life, how, how do you have a self-identification when you're, regardless of how old you are? So how do you? <laughs> I guess somehow I just, uh, um, I guess, saw it somewhere. Maybe it's like, you know, Hong Kong films or uh, with the internet, the arrival of the internet that really helped a lot. Um, so it just, I guess the per se pervasiveness of, of, of internet nowadays really, really um, is a big contribution to the, the growth of the LGBT community.